In this video, we will create a website. Okay, so to get to the Google Sites, you can go to the Google homepage, go to More, you want to go to Even More, and then you want to go down the page until you find on the right hand side Sites. Once you find that, you will be at the Google Sites. You're going to do, hit Create. You're going to do a blank template, which it defaults to, and you're going to type in the name of your uh, website, and it must be unique. So you need to put something that nobody else would have. Answer the security by typing in what you see, and hit Create. It will take a minute sometimes to create. And now I have a website. Now, this is not a very good name to my website. So if I go over here to More, I can see I have a menu of all kinds of things that I can actually do here. All right, and I can go down and I can go to where it says Manage Site. Under Manage Site, I can change the name of my website to whatever I would like. Underneath here, there are also other options that you have to do different things as well here. One of the things that you can do here is enable Google Analytics. Okay, under Google Analytics, um, you can put in a number and Somebody that has a Google Analytics account then could track who visits your site. So you can see you have lots of settings. Okay, you want to make sure that anybody can view the site um, as far as for your projects because classmates and I need to be able to see it. But in other instances, you could change it to private for times when you know you were doing it for other reasons or with only certain collaborators. All right, so this is the Manage Site under the More tab right here. All right, to come out of that, I can actually go over here where it says DSIM 213. I can click on that, and it will allow me to leave the page. But if I do that without saving first, I'll lose the things that I have changed. So I need to save first. And it says my changes have been saved. And now I can now go over to the home page and you'll see that the name has changed. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how to add other web pages to the website. If you go up here and put your mouse over top of these two icons, you'll see one is to edit a page. So I could edit my home page here. The other is to add a new page. So if I want to add a new page, I can click on it. And let's just say I want to call this page my last name. Okay, I can now hit create and it will create a regular web page. There are different kinds of pages that you could actually create. A web page is what you're going to use most of the time. But every now and then if you have a different type of need, like say for instance if you were going to create a blog, you might want to change it to announcements because on the announcement page, and I'll show you here, if I click on announcement and hit create, you will see that this has an RSS feed on here which says subscribe to post. That's really simple syndication and it allows you to subscribe so that posts would automatically be sent to you to let you know something um, had posted and that you might want to go read it that way. So this would be an announcement web page which is in this case you could use as a blog with an RSS feed on it. Hit create again and we will do a regular web page. So I'm just going to call this Matia 2. Leave it on web page. Okay, and you'll see I'm going to leave everything else by the default of what you see on there. And I'm going to hit create. So I've now created two different web pages. So I have a home page, which is here. 
Okay, and I could put things on that. I also have two other ed, um, pages that I have created as well. You'll see when I'm in that edit mode, which I am right now um, in the edit mode, it gives me the options to insert, format, table, or layout. Insert gives me a lot of different options to be able to use, as well as format, and table, and layout. I'm just going to go ahead right now and save this page. And now I have the home page and two web pages. One of them would be an announcement page, which would be a good way to do a blog. The other is a regular web page where I could post information on it as well.